Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, February 3rd. It's 1.30 p.m. and the temperature right now is around zero degrees Celsius. This is the intersection of Queen Street West and University Avenue. And there's a look north up University. And a look to the east along Queen Street. And the plan for this one is to walk west, mostly through laneways, and I'll make my way over to Niagara Street. And along the way, I'll be passing by some of the city's most vibrant street art. So this here is Simcoe Street. I think there's a laneway I can take here that will bring me further along west, although I don't think this one has a whole lot of street art in it. And it doesn't seem to have a name. And I'd like to give a shout out to Patreon member Herman for suggesting a walk that incorporated street art. He sent me a message yesterday and I thought it was a pretty good idea. So this would be the backside of a number of Queen Street West retailers. And I'd also like to thank all the Patreon and channel members who support the channel with a special shout out to the God tier status members. Those are Chuck Diamond, I Will Rock Your World, Andrew Nielsen, High Fiverr, Michael Keeley, Jenny K, and Ron V. So thank you guys for your support. Along the way, I will be passing through Graffiti Alley, which is an often requested part of downtown. All right, I'll head up to Queen Street here. This is Duncan Street. And there's a 501 Queen Street car. Although for most of the route, at least towards the west, they are operating buses due to some water main and sewer construction over at Queen and Roncesvilles. I believe they're also upgrading some of the streetcar tracks. look south at the CN Tower and the former home of City TV and Much Music. So this is John Street. I'm going to turn south here. That 
second cup has been there for as long as I can remember. And that is Richmond Street just up ahead, but I'm going to turn down this laneway. Tim Hortons themed artwork. So this should take me across to Peter Street. Certainly a fair bit of graffiti along this laneway. That's kind of neat. And I'm under the impression that this artwork is allowed if they have permission of the building owner. That wasn't always the case. Here's a pigeon foraging for some food. This is kind of neat. So I'll see if this laneway has a street sign on this end that gives it a name. I know the city has a project where they're trying to assign names to all the laneways. I think this is the site of a building that burned down along Queen Street West. There's the former home of the Gap. And this is Peter Street. There's a look south towards the Sky Dome. And this here is Jack, I think it's Jack Copper Lane. Although, it feels more like a construction site. Maybe we can take a peek and hear what's under construction. Oh, there's some artwork hiding. Probably not supposed to come in here. That's kind of neat. It'll be a shame if that gets covered up. And there's a comfort station. I think we all know what that is. And I think there's a dead end just up ahead here, so I will head south down to Richmond Street. And after this one, I'm thinking of going 
west down to a part of town called New Toronto in Etobicoke and filming a walk there and then possibly live streaming after that. So here is Richmond Street. And that would be Spadina Avenue just up ahead there. I'm pretty sure I can go this way. I'm trying to avoid major streets as much as possible. And I'm assuming these are for Airbnb units. Probably leading up to this building. That's a look at the laneway I was just in. And I think this part is called the Lot Street Lane. And just across from Spadina Avenue will be Graffiti Alley, which is the most well-known of these lanes full of street art in the city. So it's briefly back up to Queen Street West. Just to the north of here is Chinatown. There's a 510 Spadina streetcar. I'll have to come back and do another walk down Queen Street West at some point in the future. It's one of the more popular streets downtown. There's a look to the south and the CN Tower. And this is the start of Graffiti Alley. And as you can see, it's got its own official designation by the city of Toronto. And this runs roughly over to Portland Street. I think it's called Rush Lane on that side, once you go west of Augusta Avenue. But this was previously a hotspot for graffiti prior to 2011. And around that time it was designated as sort of a cultural area of significance by the city. 
and a project called Street Art Toronto was born and they sort of provide funding and work with the artists to get approvals for various street art and mural projects. So most of this artwork is legal and some of it will no doubt be very temporary. This is definitely one of the most Instagrammable spots in the city. And here's one of the alleyways that connects Queen Street West South down to Richmond Street. This is definitely one of the more well-known and photograph murals here, but it's currently in the middle of a construction project. Looks like there might be a tight squeeze around this truck up ahead. And somewhere along here, I think just on the right, back in 2003, a playground swing was installed. I think right where this truck is blocking actually. I don't know if I'll be able to Get in there and take a look. This is a bell truck. So someone wearing a backpack, maybe I can squeeze. And saw the swing up in there. And then it was removed in 2005 and quickly replaced. And then after that, some, sometime in 2006, they took the swing out and locked off the entrance. I think that was just to keep people out of there. It was a bit of a, bit of a hazard. And the playground swing is no more. There are some videos of it online if you're interested. So I think technically this is the western end of Graffiti Alley, although this next stretch is still considered to be part of it. That's Augusta Avenue. And this part is called Rush Lane. Most of the art in this section appears to be of the temporary variety.
This one on the left almost looks like it's done by Al Runt, who's a rather popular local Toronto artist. I could be wrong on that. It's similar to his style. <laughs> good job. You drop your smile, it's the Kodak moment. <laughs> Have a good one. That guy kind of made me jump. The Alex Wilson Community Garden. I've walked through here in a previous walk along Richmond Street. Here's another alleyway full of street art. And this is Portland Street. So now I'm going to head over to an area known as Graffiti Alley West. And that is just west of Bathurst. I don't think that's an official name. Hey, a bright sunny day. It's been a while since we've had one of these. That would be Bathurst Street off in the distance. Here we go, I don't remember the name of this laneway. You gotta be careful with these kind of tight semi-blind corners. And I'm guessing somebody asked the back of this condo if they could put up some street art and they said no, which is kind of a shame. There's some artwork way up there. So here we go, Bathurst Street. Looks like I'll have to go up to Queen to cross again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, so I have left downtown, at least by my definition, as I'm west of Bathurst Street now, or at least on the west side. There's Parkdale Queen West Community Health Center. And again, this laneway has no sign, but I think it's been dubbed Graffiti Alley West. I've heard one person refer to it as that, and I've, I think it actually shows up on Google Maps under that name. Although I don't know how much I can trust Google Maps anymore. They have relabeled Young and Eglinton on their map from Midtown Toronto to North Toronto, which is very bizarre. I have no idea why they would do that. It used to be if you took a look at Young and Eglinton, it would just say Midtown Toronto, but now it says North Toronto. I have never heard anyone refer to it as that, at least not in the past several decades. One falls, many rise. That's kind of cool. And I think this is the Compsey Street. I don't see any signs, but You'd think I'd know the city well enough by now. Oh, there we go. There's an alley that connects Queen Street down to Richmond Street. So I'm assuming this is the back end of a lot of homes. A lot of the older residential streets in the city are built like this where there's no driveway or garage up front, but there's a series of laneways in behind the homes where people can park their cars. And I'd be willing to bet there's people living in some of these.
So I think this is Niagara Street, just up ahead. So I'll just head north up to Queen Street. Enter Hawk Teeth at Girls Club 2015. All right. <laughs> There's other areas of the city that have street art, or street art not on like this. To the north, Kensington Market. Well, that would be way back north of Spadina. Has its fair share of interesting art, and perhaps that'll be worth exploring in a future video. I just sort of put this one together off the top of my head of laneways I knew that were relatively close to each other that had a lot of street art. I'm sure I missed some. I always thought this was kind of neat on this building. It's Queen Street. I want to be on the north side. So just to the west here is Trinity Bellwoods Park. And there is Sanko, which is a kind of a Japanese themed general store. You don't really know how else to describe it. It's a really neat sort of browse through, but unfortunately you can't do that right now. And who knows when we'll be allowed back in stores such as that one. I think the province indicated ICU numbers will have to be half of what they are now. So what I'm going to do is wait here for the bus or streetcar. It'll probably be a bus that I need. I don't see one coming yet. Should be pretty frequent, but I've always found going west along Queen Street to be a bit of a pain in the butt. It's a rather slow crawl across the city, but there should be a bus coming soon. So on that note, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, there's a bus, I think. It's a Canada Post truck. I'm going to head back to the bus stop. If you're interested in supporting the channel, there are links to my Patreon account in the description. You can also check out channel memberships on the main page. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Johnny Stumbles, where I post three or four shorter videos. Not unlike this, though, every week. And I also live stream from there as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.